In him, Catalan chooses to show the public a depiction of evil they have never seen before, one full of sorrow. The size of a little boy, Catalan wants us to approach him from behind. The viewer is soon confronted by the infamous face. With his hands crossed as if in prayer and his gaze directed towards heaven, his fate is to remain in hell. I am the way into the city of woe. I am the way to a forsaken people. I am the way into eternal sorrow. Sacred justice moves my architect. Abandon, Abandon all, all hope, hope, ye who, who enter, enter here. The composition consists of three casts of the same figure, juxtaposed at slightly different angles. They incarnate the phrase, Abandon all hope, ye who enter here. The composition of the gates of hell is based on the last judgment. But instead of God making the division between good and evil, the three shades don't give you the option. They welcome you to hell. They stand on top of the gates of hell, gesturing downwards, heads lowered and arms extended, appearing despotent and wary. They symbolize the worst death of all, the death of the spirit. This monumental painting by Franz Franken the Younger can justifiably be called his masterpiece. Heroic in its ambitions, it conjures a magnificent stage set on three levels. Although we, the viewer, see all three registers, he only sees the figures of opportunity and Venus, pulling him between the choice of vice and virtue, between the outcome of immoderate love and ultimately bad love, the wrathful, the envious, and the proud juxtaposing allegories of virtue and vice, good and evil, and ultimately mortality and immortality. Diagram of purgatory. Diagram of purgatory. Immoderate love. The lustful. The gluttons. The avaricious. The avaricious. Too, Too little, little love. love. The, the slothful. slothful. Bad love. Bad love. The, the wrathful, wrathful. The envious. The envious. The proud. The proud. Carrington's surreal fantasy world includes all definitions of love described in Dante's Diagram of Purgatory. The title is drawn from an 18th century French nursery rhyme, Le Bon Roi d'Agobert, the Good King d'Agobert. In this painting, Carrington focuses on the pleasures of the flesh, depicting a world in which figures merge as human animals. It is a world ultimately consumed by vice, although hope of a possible redemption is represented by the spiral staircase leading upwards suggesting a possible gateway to heaven. A work from the series of Hearst's religious paintings, Summer in Siam, is made of real butterflies affixed to glossy household paint on canvas. In Our Paradise, the final part of the exhibition, Hearst's vision of the heavenly skyscape is one of snowy masses of vaporous white clouds spread with the kaleidoscopic and ethereal splendor of fluttering butterflies, providing a sublime and meditative relief from the pathos of hell and purgatory. If in the warmth of love I manifest more of my radiance than the world can see, rendering your eyes unequal to the test, do not be amazed. These are the radiancies of the perfected vision that sees the good and step by step moves nearer what it sees. Similarly, in Bouguereau's Love Conquers All from 1886, we move a step closer to the perfected vision of paradise. Hovering in a heavenly realm, a feather-winged cupid, love, holds aloft his bow, embraced by Psyche, a girl with delicate butterfly wings whose name means soul or butterfly in Greek. Bouguereau's carefully observed details and well-modeled forms lend a distinct naturalism to the scene. Perhaps this unspoiled world is not pure fantasy, after all. 